Hey everybody, today I'm gonna make a scalloped pen and I wanna show you how I make this blank. I use a material that we have at Turner's Warehouse. It's a segmenting material, it's aluminum, uh, composite and aluminum, and it makes for a really cool segmented look. And I wanna show you a couple of things here. The Celtic knot that I've done with this before, you may have seen it in a past video, and I'll show you how that's laid out, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do today as far as uh, double scallops. So right here are some examples of the Celtic knots that I did in the previous video. And this, you can see, it gives you a good view of the three layers in the material. And what's really cool is you can do a very simple Celtic knot with just four cuts. Uh, if you're interested in that, check out that previous video. I'll put a link below. Or you can just do a simple line segment and it really just adds to the look. You can also do it on a larger scale. This is a blank for a handle or a pepper mill that the four cuts have been made. And essentially it's one cut, two cuts, three cuts, four cuts, and you put the material in each one and this is what you end up with. It's a really cool design. The way it overlaps and intersects is really neat and it's very simple to do. With what we're doing today on a larger scale, this is a handle blank uh, or a pepper mill pepper grinder, anything you want to make out of it. And this is the larger. Today's project is a blue dyed spalted maple. And I've put these scallops in there. I've pre-tubed it so it's ready to turn. Uh, and I just want to show you how I glue this up because I think people might think this is much harder than it is or that you need something fancy. And I'm sure you could definitely complicate this and make it harder. But here is the exact way I do this. now. You can cut these a little smaller to size because I'm gonna end up trimming these off. I like to sand it down once I've got my blank ready, but um, you don't need a lot to do this. I cut this on my miter saw, there's the blank. I cut this material on my band saw, and all I do is, you can see that it's sanded around the edges. Once I've cut it, I, I sand it on this sanding block because I wanna take off any burrs so it sits flat, but it's very simple. I'm gonna use mercury glue and accelerator. And here's how I do it. I put, I lay out all my parts, obviously. So there's the pattern. The segment goes there and there. And I do it kind of in, a, in the same fashion every time. So I'll put the glue on the wood. And this is mercury thick, regular thick. And then what I do is I spray one side of the, segmenting material with the accelerator. I'll put it on the bottom and I'll push it up and I just hold it for maybe 10 seconds. Uh, probably don't even need that long. Once this comes in contact with the glue, the accelerator, it's, it's solid. I haven't had one of these break yet, so this method has worked for me. Now here I'm gonna make sure I've got the, the parts lined up correctly. I'm gonna put glue on this side. I'm gonna spray that in and I'm holding it flat to the table so at least I have one flat surface. Now you need to do this fairly quickly because as soon as it contacts that accelerator it's gonna go off. So you don't have a lot of time to line it up. Uh, this one you can see the lines are a little off and that's because I when I went to line it up I touched it and it stuck on me so that one I gotta live with. So I've got a flat side still by doing this. And then I just repeat this. So I always put the glue on the wood. And you could use epoxy uh, if that's your thing. But this works for me, so that's what I do. Push it in, give it five or 10 seconds. I move it so it doesn't stick to the table. I don't wanna glue it to the table because some glue does squirt out the bottom. So now we've got two parts. You want a, a good amount of glue. You don't want to you don't want to go a little light on it because then you could lose your part. So I'm going to line this up by eye. And oh, well, I stuck it a little bit low, but the way this end piece is, that'll actually work out okay. So now this is done. I can spray this. Make sure anything's set. Even though I'm spraying accelerator, I want to give this some time to cure on the inside. That accelerator is only gonna cure what it comes in contact with on the outside. 
hopefully I got enough inside to cure the whole blank. But I'm gonna let this sit a little while. I'll trim it on the bandsaw and then I'll sand it up. I like them looking good before I start. And then I can cut it and drill it. The cutting, drilling, gluing, tubing are all the same as any other blank. You can use regular tools, regular drill bits. Being that this is aluminum and composite, it does not, it's not hard on your tools, so you don't need anything special. And that's how you make this blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the lathe and we're gonna spin this one and make a pen out of it. There you have it, that is the finished pen. Uh, I made a Zephyr out of this, one of my favorite pen kits from Beaufort Ink. It's a really cool looking pen. We have it in a variety of finishes and it's just really comfortable to use, so it was a good choice. This blank that fits the Zephyr fits about 10 other kits as well, so you could really do anything with it. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can do a lot with these segmenting sheets, so get out there and be creative and we will see what you can make.